today I packed my bags, I got the V6 with the additional room with me, and I'm going to the Black Grouse Lake near me. Absolutely amazing day, the end of March. So I thought I would take advantage. I haven't actually tried spending the night in any one of the Trigopan hides, so I'm really looking forward to that and really, really testing it out, see how, see how it functions. for about an hour and 20 minutes. Not long to go. Uh, really, really looking forward to this. Just a perfect day for it. I have not been up here since last year. This is my first time of the season coming up here to the black grouse. So, I have arrived at the Black Grouse Lek where I was last year. Now I just gotta find the signs of them. And if you know where to look, it's not too difficult because they usually leave a lot of signs behind. Usually a lot of droppings from the grouse and it tends to be this kind of thick grouse looking poo. They kind of urinate on the edge of the poo so they have this white stain to it. So I'm looking for that and also just feathers because when they start fighting, feathers goes everywhere. So it's early in the season, but I think I think we got some here already. There we go. So if you have a look at this one here, that is the dropping that they leave behind. It's all kind of stained white there on one side. And if we have a look around here, I'm sure we'll find, there we go, there's a feather as well. Let's have a look on my app and find out exactly where sunrise is gonna be. And I'm gonna use photo pills. And it's got this nice augmented reality here. So I can kind of go, just put it along the horizon and drag the timeline. So it looks like at 7.10 or around seven o'clock is when the sun is gonna come over the hill down there. I can see exactly where it is. So just so perfect. Just a really good app to, to find out, to plan your morning session. So I'm just getting more and more excited. Now though, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just finding the kind of edges of this lek and find a little, you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a little bit of grasses here which are gonna be a little bit in my way. So I'm gonna see if I can find a little bit of a kind of a tunnel or something like that that I can shoot through and try and align that hill as my background and I'm gonna go more for that than having the sun right behind me. I really want that hill as a background. So if the sun is gonna come down there, then I'm gonna have the sun at a little bit of an angle, but I prefer that just so I can have that hill as my background because if we have a nice sunrise tomorrow, that hill is just gonna light up red and it's just gonna look amazing. And I want that in my image. was the additional room here and this little hat for the top but none of the extra the roof that you can have on top it's not supposed to rain or anything like that so and it can take a bit of rain anyways it's a warm evening but i think it might get down to three degrees maybe a bit colder up here so little windows here little air air holes Obviously I can air it out using all sorts of these doors here and open them up if I want to. 
So the hide is up and I'm ready to kind of go here. I'm just going to put some stuff in it. I'm not going to cook around here because sometimes the grouse can come back evening or at other times. So I don't want to spend much time here, at least not on the outside of the hide. So I'm going to take my cooking gear just a little bit over there and uh, cook there tonight, come back here when I go to bed. First, I'll just blow up my mattress, get the sleeping bag in here, just kind of get settled in. I am quite hungry, so I might go for a bite to eat after that. It is 10 to seven. up here now. So glad I came out and did this. Okay, I think I'm gonna make some food. I'm very hungry. Yeah, it stands out a little bit more than the hockey hide. I had the hockey hide up here last year and it's very flush in the landscape. You can't really see it. The V6 obviously stays a little bit higher, but it's gonna be a lot more comfortable than sleeping in the hockey. You could sleep in the hockey, but there's not much room and you probably have to leave your bag outside and it's a little bit cramped for long, long periods, but people definitely do it. Pasta, that's what's for dinner. Cheers. There's nowhere a little bit of whiskey tastes better than out here. walk this is just amazing the sun is just going down behind the hill the sun went down about 20 minutes ago maybe half an hour I've had my dinner so now I'm trying to get everything ready so that when I wake up tomorrow, everything, I know where everything is because I'm probably going to be a bit hungry because, you know, the black grouse can show up probably over an hour before sunrise and sometimes they stay for a few hours after sunrise. So right here, I have put down my breakfast, which is a couple of sandwiches. I've got some jam, some peanut butter, and I got my Mindshift camera bag insert right here. So that's got my... OM1, my 300, F4, my 4150. I'm filming here with the um, M1 Mark II, and I might use that as a spare backup camera with the 4150 as well, just depending on how it goes. I also got an extender 1.4 with me. So just being prepared, and I have it all ready. I'll be shooting out this window. I've got a couple of scrims here to hide more, and also to use as maybe instead of a bean bag. I didn't want to bring my bean bag because <laughs> Uh, my bag was already quite heavy since I'm camping and brought all food and everything so bean bag got sacrificed and stayed at home. I can put my bag here. I can put that at the bottom of the hide. Pretty comfortable here and uh, yeah it might be a little bit cold in the evening so I have some thermals and thicker socks and everything so I might sleep in that in the sleeping bag. Just uncomfortable. So it's about 5.30 in the morning and I've just had some breakfast and I'm just getting ready. Um, 
my first camp of the year. Didn't sleep very well. Just me not being used to sleeping outside. But, but uh, no, it definitely works to sleep in. It's, uh, it's comfortable in here. And plenty of space. But now I'm just going to turn off this light. And go quiet. Because uh, the grass could show up any minute now. What an incredible experience that was. This is the V6 and I got the additional room I can lie down. I felt really comfortable in it. It was, uh, it was really good and then went to bed here and woke up and the grass were right there. So absolutely perfect. If you want to pick up one of these highs it is um, photographyblinds.com for the US and Canada tragopan-shop.com for Europe and the rest of the world. Highly recommend it. Such an incredible experience to photograph black grouse. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.